Lord Heavenly Father, we just want to come to you and just say thank you for this time. We want to say thank you for being God and being God all by yourself, sitting so high, looking so low at all of our adversities and all of our problems and all of our situations and still deciding to pull us out of it, Lord Heavenly Father. I believe your scripture says it best in Jeremiah 29 verse 11 that you know the plans that you have for our life, oh Father God. And I just want to say thank you, Lord Heavenly Father, for us being a part of the plan. I pray that I do everything um, decently and in order with you, oh Father God. Forgive me of anything I may have said, done, or thought. I pray that this teaching infects not only me, but others around the world. And if it doesn't do anything with anybody else around the world, I pray that it just touches the one. I give your name all the glory, all the honor, and all the praise. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So check this out, y'all. I felt it so strongly. I started a video. I had to cancel it because it just wasn't going my way. Here's the thing. God told us in Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11. He says that I know the plans. I wanted to do it my way, y'all, on my accord. I was asking God, hey, what should I study on? What should I talk about? Um, you know, I, I know that I'm supposed to do this, but Lord, what is it? And he dropped it on me while I was starting the video. And then I couldn't find it, right? I couldn't find it, right? I couldn't find the plan. I could not see it. And I said, I have the plan. Just ask me for it. So Lord, I'm asking you for the plan to help me see the plan. Even if it's just a little bit, give me a little sparkle, give me a little sunlight on that thing so that I can be fully prepared to do your will, not my own, but yours. Because sometimes what we do is that we wanna do our own thing and we want to live out our own plans and we have our own way of th uh, thinking and how things are set up. I believe in scripture even said, your ways are not my ways and your thoughts are not my thoughts. It might be a little bit later on down in the scripture. We don't know. Um, I don't know at the moment, y'all, but I know that it's the word, okay? <laughs> Um, I got to clarify that sometimes because people will be like, well, how are you uh, preaching and teaching God's word and you don't know where it's at in the Bible? Well, sometimes I'm, I'm human, y'all. I mean, I have brain farts. I mean, <laughs> let's be real. You know what I'm saying? Let's be transparent. You know, um, a great teacher by the name of Mike uh, Todd, um, Pastor Mike Todd, excuse me, um, he says, um, one of their expressions there at their church is hot, humble, open, and transparent. I'm always going to be transparent with you. I'm always going to keep it real with you because that's just who I am. You know what I'm saying? At the same time, um, <laughs> I have always been critiqued on not letting people know when I have those hiccups or those mess ups uh, upon this uh, upon this preaching and teaching his word, God's word. So I'm just going to read you Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 11, and I'm going to give you my intake on it and what it is doing for me. All right. Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 11. One more time. So I need some people in the back to hear me because sometimes y'all won't be hearing all the way. Drop some fire emojis in the chat, in the comments, yo. Um, also, I want to put this disclaimer out here that I normally do. Hey, I have no problem with being rebuked, corrected, set down, somebody talking to me and exchanging information so that we all can learn and grow for God's people. You know what I'm saying? Just so God's world, it can get bigger and bigger. Um, first of all, y'all, I looked over there because I thought I heard footsteps. Um... I know the enemy has a charge against me, but he don't know how many angels I have around me. <laughs> I'm going to say that part again because somebody didn't get that. I know the enemy has a charge against me, but he don't know how many angels I have around me. I got some angels, y'all. You do too. I'm saying, by the way, I'm also wearing my brand. If you have not read it yet, it is the brand begotten one. Uh, my king is the begotten one. And, and I'm talking about Jesus. You know, um, you got any cool ideas, any um, thoughts you want to give me on um, 
the begotten one uh, uh up on my brand i encourage you to just drop them in the chats um you know hit my instagram tyler underscore strother five um hit my um uh uh i got my tiktok is at strother the brand s-t-r-o-t-h-e-r the brand right um that's my tiktok so so if you don't get the word from youtube get the word from my tiktok my instagram even on my facebook you can just look me up tyler strother t-y-l-e-r strother s-t-r-o-t-h-e-r and and i pray that you receive the message i pray that you receive the word if like i said before if this don't hit thousands and thousands and billions and billions of people at least it infected one person and that's all i care about man you know um i think the passage of scripture even talks about um you know saying leaving the 99 to go after the one so that's something i stand on you know that's my job anyways let me read jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11 and it reads in the new king james bible for i know the thoughts that i think towards you says the lord thoughts of peace and not of evil and to give you a future and a hope then you will call upon me and go pray to me and i will listen to you verse 13 and you will seek me and i find you when you search for me with all of your heart i will be found by you says the lord and i will bring you back from captivity i will gather you from all the nations and from all the places where i have driven you says the lord and i will bring you to a place from which i cause you to be carried away captive now i'm not going to go into all of this you know this takes a uh, uh, long study it takes long preparation it takes and i didn't say i prepared and you heard me even um in, in my video before i did this video i was letting you know like i did not have a word i i did not have a word but god gave me a word and sometimes god just wants you to expound on just that word that he gave you and i just want to expound here at this word that god has given me do you know the plans that God has for you? Do you know the thoughts that God has for you? Do you believe that God had your life already in his hands? I'm quite fastened and quickly reminded that even in verse 13, it says, and you will seek me and find me when you search for me with all of your heart see sometimes for us to get the plan and for us to um know the plan we got to find god we got to go seek i said the, the scripture says seek and i want you to get the understanding of the word seek seek means to tear this mother bad gemma up we gonna look for wherever it's at. I don't care where it's at. Your keys lost. We underneath couches, flipping them over. We underneath beds and 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 in cabinets and 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 we're in cars. We finna find these keys. I don't care what you saying. I know what I'm gonna do to find my keys so I can start my car. But hold on, let me tell you something real quick. See, with God is when you seek after Him. He, you will find him. Here's the crazy part. And it was a great pastor that has been in my life since um, 2012, right? His name is Pastor Mike Moore. I don't know if you guys know him. <sighs> Yo, he told me something that really has stuck with me all throughout my 20s and into my early 30s, right? The scripture tells us to seek and we shall find, right? Seek the Lord and we shall find him. That's what he's saying in 13. Seek him and we shall find him. When you seek, you doing whatever you got to do to find him. And some of us just need to do that. Hey, I, I don't know what I just did. I had to look over there to see what's going down. You know what I'm saying? Real dude. But I know that I got a legion of angels charged over me. So y'all keep praying for me. 
I, I know the devil comes to play with my mind, play with my... He's trying to stop what God is about to do. He's trying to stop the plans that God has for me. He's trying to stop the thoughts God has for me. He is trying to stop what God has now put in place. Uh, see, here's the thing about you having a plan for your life. God already had a plan for you even before you was in your mother's womb. And he had plans to bring you to an expected end. But do you believe it? Are you seeking God? Are you searching for him? Are, 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 do you potentially want to find out what the plan is that God has for your life? Maybe that's you today. Maybe you're tired of looking over your shoulder asking the same question. You know, like, what is my plan? I'm tired of... Um, thinking this is it, but this thing over here comes to a dead end or end road. And God is just like, well, if you come seek me, um, do like scripture uh, says in Matthew chapter 6, verse 33. It says, seek ye the kingdom of God in all of his righteousness. And then, and then, and then, and then, I want to express that, and then everything else will be added unto you. Then you will know the plans that God has for your life because then you seek him. You seek after him. You're trusting what he has for you. I get it. You don't believe it. I get it. You know what I'm saying? You trying to stay afloat when inflation is up. They ain't talking about giving you more pay at your job. And inflation is up by half a percent. I understand. God had planned for this. Because he knew that his children, that his kids, whom he loved. I want to express that. He loved you enough. I hear another scripture coming in my head. Because now it's starting to formulate. I feel you, Lord. I feel you. I feel you. I feel you. It's like, you know, God... Allows us to go through these things through trying times because he is now producing endurance. He is producing preservance. He, the, you know, we got to preserve ourselves in this time because now God is going to get ready to produce it within the according of his plan. According to his plan. All because you kept seeking after him. All because you continuously looked for him. All because you might think that you don't have something, but God already has it for you. The same way I started when I tried to dive into God's word or do something that I know that I'm supposed to be doing all the time, but I don't. Trust in God even, even when I can't see his plan. Do you know God gives provision where there is vision? Thank you, Pastor Mike Todd, for allowing God to speak through you, sir. <laughs> do you know? Do you know that God, give, God gives provision where there is vision? But the only way to get the vision is if you're in his presence. The only way to get the vision is if you're in his presence. The only way to understand the plan is if you're in his presence long enough for him to give you a piece of the plan. Choose today to be a part of the plan. Choose today that you're going to want to figure out what the plan is and you are not willing to sacrifice who you are. Take that back. Sacrifice who you are so that you can understand the plans that God has for your life. Seek after his will and not your own, because then when you seek after his will, you will find him there. You will find God where he has been at this entire time. Jeremiah 29, 11, For I know the thoughts or the plans I have for you that I think towards you, says the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you a future and hope or prosper. He wants you to prosper at this time. He wants you to prosper when you're in him. Get in God today. If that's you, 
Ask God to help you prosper. Ask God to help you get back into his presence when you don't know the way. Help God to reveal the plan that he has for you in your life. It doesn't matter if you still smoking and drinking right now because God knows the plans of changing that possibly. God knows the plans for you. He already knew you was going to go through a battle with lust. He knew you was going to go through a battle of frustration or anger. He understood you were just going to decide to do your own thing for a while. But I promise you, if you're in his will and you're seeking after him, you will find him. And then he will then in return prosper you. And all of all, if you don't receive this principle... Receive this, that God wants you in his presence so that he can prosper you into the plan he has for you. I love y'all. God bless.